Okay, I am so excited to bring this one. Um, Extreme Tech Super Battle Road No Item. Now, I have scoured the internet, Reddit, all the good stuff. I have not seen this post ever from someone. The only other person I've seen do this was Truth. There can be someone out there, of course. I just have not seen it. Um, and the Super Battle Road leader, basically, for... Uh, like YouTube is is Ningen for global um, So I definitely feel good because he doesn't have his video out yet and I do uh, So small challenge there. Uh, so definitely hit like and subscribe this this video right here freaking deserves it So uh, I will have a timestamp uh, down below to skip ahead to the actual fight I'm gonna go over the entire team first and why I picked who I picked um, If there isn't a timestamp down there uh, I don't know how to actually do it as I'm saying this, but I'm assuming I'll be able to figure it out. So anyway, heck fucking Janemba, this fat loser gets it done. Um, okay, no, I'm, I'm slightly kidding. He is really good. So this right here was what made me want to really try using him. Before him, um, Golden Frieza, like running double Golden Frieza, I think was the best that you could have done. Uh, he's a 120 lead, but here was my issue with Golden Frieza. Now this could be just just me. You might not have this uh, if you've been playing longer than me. He for me he's only 55%. So he takes way more damage than a Rainbow Golden Frieza, right? He he still is fine, but what hap what what kept happening to me every single time that I was like no. I have to drop him was I would uh, let's say best case scenario I have him on the first rotation right cool he tanks does a whole bunch of goodness great looking good I go into the next rotation bam immediately I drop below 50% I come back to the next golden the next rotation with golden Frieza I'm dead I'm dead turn three almost every single time so I ended up just having to drop him um, and I, I just stopped I didn't even bother even trying to get that state done now this fat loser comes out um we get extreme class for 130 right so he's a little bit of a better lead a little bit 10 percent buff to everyone which is not really a game changer here i don't think um this if you get this full passive active um with support on rotation you can either have support on rotation from another tech janemba right because i run double janemba or uh, her she also gives support as well or him if you activate big bad bosses he will take double digits from a normal attack from most enemies some enemies just happen to hit harder i noticed but for the most part he will take double digits normal damage if you have a full passive active and support from either her or big bad bosses from him or another tech janemba getting the passive as well um an issue that this team composition does have is big bad bosses while that is extremely valuable the only person that has it is this slug no one else has big bad bosses so that really sucked and it made me not link level up so much um i do have moderate level links like around sixes and sevens i think for janemba uh, Piccolo is actually done, but to be honest, most of his links almost never get activated anyway. Roly, he's very high up there, eight, uh, eight nines, and tens. Um, Slug is very low. I think he's sixes and sevens. Um, Raditz is very high, nines and tens, and then Telwa is very, very low. But again, none of her links are really ever active. So, whew. I don't believe there is any. I don't believe I ever transform. I'm not even gonna. If you do transform, the only reason I would do it is one, hoping I can change the uh, field to tech. So that's completely random. And sometimes I, uh, in other runs, I've I've done it. I've changed uh, all the orbs on the field with him, and then I've gotten a bunch of tech orbs. And I'm like, cool, big, huge heal, right? I could heal like almost 200k if there's like a big, uh, big field of that. Um, also, the chance of him getting the 50% chance to dodge if you get one Rainbow Key Sphere. Also, RNG into the wind, right? Uh, damage wise he would do about three mil i notice um and the base janemba would do about two mil so it i don't know i mean i never i didn't pay so much attention to if i was getting this or not but 
I, I must have not been getting it, I guess, because it just didn't, it wasn't that big of a difference. It was, I was mostly better off staying in this base form. One, for the damage reduction. Two, for raising allies, attack and defense 30%, right? That would help out dramatically. Demon King Piccolo. Now, in his base form like this, he is not that great. Um, okay, well, I mean, no one. I guess he's good enough, right? Uh, because, so, this is very important, being able to get the 18 key. He will change his own tech orbs, but there are so many times where Janemba is staying on rotation, and I have to give him the orbs, and I can't get it for him. Um, but just to, you need to get him 5 key spheres to get his 50% damage reduction. Uh, they are the, in the first two fights, you're able to transform right away. Um... I don't know if I even get that this one. I'm looking. I know the first fight does. The second fight, I'm not sure. So in the first fight, you could verse uh, Hercule, Videl, and Boo. And if you do, he will transform right away. He is insane, right? Um, he gets 66% damage reduction. Uh, and then if you... Oh, wait, that's from the sixth turn. on. No, you never really get to the sixth turn, I don't believe, ever. Um, and then he will deal moderate damage for sure. Uh... But, you know, given the fact that he just has no, uh, almost no links active, it, it's fine. Um, and again, if we greatly raise our attack and defense, he'll just take so much less damage, right? Um, I believe if he double supers, like if he gets the 18 key and then this 12 key, he'll take around 50k from a super attack. So, extremely powerful. Um, Broly, Broly's here for damage, right? And he's exactly what he does in the end. He deals damage if you get we really want to get to turn four because then we get the you know the guaranteed transformation with uh this active skill which is basically just an end button right there no one someone from full health like is not surviving assuming he's linked up with raditz who links very well with him the the turn's over right and if we get toa on rotation if we get janemba support any kind of support we're hitting like five six million attack stats the turn is over no matter like what's going on um, because he also has a guaranteed double super attack. There's rare chances where you can get, like, four super attack. Like, it's just insane the damage he'll do, and it's over. Um, now this guy, I was very controversial, uh, bringing him. So, the reason I brought him, I treated him, and I thought of it the same way as I would bring the Tech Gohan. You know what? I'm gonna just pull that up in case you're not sure. The Tech Kid Gohan. That is how I viewed this slug to be honest um this one so is he that great no not really but he can heal you when you're 30 percent or less now what's great is he gives you a full heal which is fucking amazing and he has this medium chance to stun very similar to him um medium chance to stun uh and and this now he only recovers 30 percent hp when your hp is 30 percent or less so that is not a lot but it does add up very quickly uh, when him linked up with Janemba, we're able to also get Metamorphosis. I was actually really annoyed to find out that um, Demon King Piccolo doesn't have the Namekian link, which would have helped out a lot because that would have been an extra 5 HP recovery or more. Right? I would have definitely link leveled more knowing that. Um, Raditz. So Raditz is very uh, is, is a very good tank. right? We get a high chance to stun, which is 50% for 2 turns. Now, in his passive, he gets... Uh, when facing, no, no, when facing two, yeah, when facing two or more enemies, he gets, uh, key plus two, I didn't realize he gets the key, and then he gets a, a guaranteed stun and 50% damage reduction, so that guaranteed stun is in his passive, it will not continue to the next turn, it would have to state next turn, it does now if this goes off, right, this will be two turns, on his first super attack, you will have no idea which one it will be. You won't know until the next turn. If you attack twice, which he has built all additional for me, um, this 50%, if you see, if you attack two times with him, two super attacks, and you see the stun go off on the second attack, it is this one. His passive won't trigger again. So on his second super attack, this passive here does not trigger. It will it will be this one. That that is the only way to know if it will carry on. He also gets um, this high chance to crit against Goku and Mechians, which definitely comes up a whole bunch of times. So he is extremely good. Tawa here, um, 
she just provides a ton of support it is she takes around 100k when she gets hit right so it's not like she's doing well defensively but she gives three key and then she gives five percent per extreme class ally which is um 35 percent of the whole team um and then obviously everyone is extreme class so she will have a passive for herself um, she's, you know, she's here for the key and this, she does, uh, and the seal, that's right, that's right, she also seals, which comes in handy as well. So, yeah, that's the go on. So that is the team, um, rotations, I want to keep Janemba on most of the time, but it, it, it does vary very heavily depending on the turn. I'm actually going to switch over right now to in-game and just start this. So... The fight did just start. I uh, I have run this like 600 times. So uh, the amount of times that I, I don't get to uh, like, I don't click the recording button. It, it happens kind of a, a lot. Uh, it's not intentional. So technically, I guess this doesn't qualify for any kind of, uh, um, I don't know. What's the word? I'm doing something. That's why I'm like brain farting right now there we go so i guess this technically doesn't qualify for any kind of like website or anything like that but it's um it's good we still get it done i don't fucking care i'm not submitting this anywhere um so we are able to get demon king piccolo transform right away and now we can get that little bit of heal from metamorphosis um so we're looking at the field right um Boo is only attacking in that first, that middle slot, which means I have a chance. Oh, wait, no, Boo's stunned. That's right, Boo's stunned. Um, never mind. So, we're just kind of hard aiming for... Who are we going for? Yeah, we go for Videl. I was about to say, it should be a hard aiming for Videl. And then, uh, we're going to try... So, Videl's not attacking after the first slot, so I'm going to try to get the... Um, they stun with Slug. It is only a 30% chance, right? So, there, the ending does come down to me needing him to stun. It's like, I'm pretty sure if he doesn't, there's a, there's a point in the fight where if he doesn't stun, the run's over. Um, so, it does come that, to that sometimes, but it, you really can't hold your breath on him. You, it's just not gonna, it, it's not good. It's not healthy. <laughs> there's lots of times where it didn't go off, and I lose, and I'm gonna cry. So, we do get super right away. Um, but look, 75k, right? That's not bad, right? 75k is, we're good at 75k. Um, did he even get, I don't even, we didn't even have Janemba's passive active. Did we even get the, um, we didn't have the 18 key either. So like he just tanked, that's just him tanking. We didn't even have any extra. So very good rotation here. Cause look, all the attacks are in the front. How is getting attacked at the end? Broly's not getting attacked. We can stun Boo. Because it's guaranteed. I pray it goes to the next turn. Broly has a guaranteed double super. And we're getting that extra support from Toa. So it's going to... There's like almost no chance that Videl can live. Um, I, was, I was just praying Videl doesn't super here. And I'm, I'm hoping her super attack is at the very end. Uh, targeted at Toa. Uh, would save us a lot of HP. So that's exactly what happens. It works out. I assume she was going to super at the end there. Um... We get that first attack. She has a counter of health. Like, it's... Oh, no, no, no. She died. I thought she lived. Uh, okay, so she's dead. Then we move on to Boo. We get some good damage on Boo. Triple super on Boo. Um, this doesn't kill, I'm pretty sure. I think Toa does, though. Yeah, Toa gets the kill right here. Oh, I am, like, frantic right now. Because I am just still so, like, pumped. My... My resting heart rate is around 60, uh, 60 beats per minute. When I finished this run, I put my watch on, I tweeted this too, and my heart rate was 93. That That's almost me doing like a, a full jog, <laughs> like insane. So we have a very good lineup here. There have been hundreds of times where I can enter the rotation like this. There are no rainbow orbs. I close the app. Like it just, it's... If you can't get Janemba's damage reduction, the turn is most likely over. So I just realized we actually don't have Demon King Piccolo transforming here. So he doesn't have his damage reduction. You need to get five orbs. If you, let's say you just super attack and you don't get the orbs, Demon King Piccolo takes 100k on normal. So 
You need the 18 key. You need the five orbs. You're praying for a double super. You want all of that to be able to tank. So Janemba takes 100k with his full passive active before supering. But then look, everything's double digits on the normals. That is when I saw, when I found out, when I saw that Janemba could do that, I said, oh, cool. There's a chance. There is a chance. So 1.6 from Slug, not bad, no stun. Um, yeah, see, this is why Demon King Piccolo's links didn't really matter so much. Because, like, he's only doing, like, 1.3s. Like, <laughs> so, it, it's okay. He, he does a lot more damage when he actually transforms. He does also do more damage when you get tech orbs. I actually just remembered that, but... You can't guarantee it because I needed to give Janemba the passive in the first place. Janemba's passive comes first. Because if Janemba doesn't get the passive, it turns over. So we're able to, again, Broly is only getting attacked one time. So there's turns, right, where I'll see, I'll open this up, cool, and I'm like, cool, this is a, this is not a bad rotation, I guess. And then I look, Broly's getting, there's no spot I can throw Broly in. You know, every attack has an attack for both enemies, and it's like, cool, the turn's over. Broly takes 100k a normal attack. I'm only able to bring Broly into this fight for this reason. Raditz, great linking partner, and he can stun. If Raditz gets this guaranteed stun on Goku, obviously not if, when. So he will stun Goku, that means Broly does not get hit. That saves all of that damage and allows Broly to just rain hell on this stage. Broly, I'm pretty sure Broly gets the win, by the way. Um, so we have him stunned. Gohan's attacking in the first and second slot uh, for Raditz. Raditz will take around 25k, I believe, a normal, um, which is okay. And then he will take a little over 120k from a super attack, which is, again, okay. Other people can take way more damage, right? So if Broly gets super attack ever, the turn's over. The, the game's over. <laughs> no, you don't live. You, you From full health, you die. So with Janemba's passive active, he takes a little bit less. So you see that? He normally will take around 25k. I'm sure it will come up. I think it happens in the next fight. Um, so this right here, I think this is this happens. I think we get the stun again. No, so if that second super attack shows me a stun, that means it came from his attack, not the passive, and it will carry on to the next turn. That first attack that Raditz did, I have no idea if that will continue to the next turn. Of course, uh, as you can imagine, it's extremely helpful if it does, uh, because it makes it one less enemy to attack me. So, the number 1.6 oh, is okay, I mean, he's... Uh, eh. <laughs> I think the friend is also one dupe, I believe so. So we have Janemba's uh, transformation condition, right? We could do it. Yeah, we're, we're not going to do it. It's fucking useless most of the time. Uh, like I said before uh, in the intro, or I actually just realized you might have skipped over that, uh, which is fine. Um, Janemba, he does have higher defense when he transforms. I, I think he on average, he's in like the one, he's anywhere from 150 to 170, I've noticed, uh, after transforming. So he, he would have healed up more, but you lose the damage reduction, right? There is no damage reduction. You only have a chance to dodge. And 50% is good, but man, I have tried a bunch of times transforming him, and the luck just wasn't there. Um, now, that's not to say his, his form is bad, but it's just not reliable. 30% damage reduction, I can count on 30% damage reduction. So... We get a dodge, which is great, but um, we take double digits anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now, I wish we'd have dodged this. This would have been really nice, but oh well. 72k, because we have big bad bosses, full passive, and Toa on rotation. We're able to take under 100k. That is a lot of RNG. That is a lot of RNG that I need all of that to occur to take under 100k. Um, so we actually get Broly's transformation here. I don't know if we do it. I mean, Gohan's extremely weak, so we wouldn't even need it. And... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's stunned. Okay, I was like, that's a lot. So, there is only one enemy, which means Raditz does not have his damage reduction. Raditz is now taking over 100k from a normal once there is one enemy on the field. I tried dropping the tech orbs. I really wanted that because now Raditz has a little over 100k health. If I was able to grab all these tech orbs, it would be a really good heal. So I go for that just to get the attack stat, get the orbs as much as possible to get closer to the Dokkan attack. But honestly, Broly's going to kill, so it doesn't really matter. My Broly is... Ooh, I don't remember. Is he... I think he's two dupes. 
I will actually just go to the, the team composition I still have his maids. So I will just go check that after. Um, so we have a a scary rotation, but here we go, right? This is the luck. This is all luck at this point. I cannot, I cannot get Janemba's passive. So at this point, in my mind, I'm I'm dead. I'm like, cool, so I'm not making it out. So that is already a problem. There is a lot of attacks in the second slot for Slug, but a little lucky Slug here, it's only Vegeta attacking him. So if I get the stun, that could save me a ton. I don't get the attack with him purposefully because I'm getting a full passive from Janemba at the end, and look, it jumped him up. So 30k, we only have the 30% attack and defense buff from the friend. Uh, that is the only reason we're taking 30k. Insanely lucky we don't get supered. If we got supered, we're dead. And we get the stun. So this is literally pure luck. Pure luck. Um, at this point, I've made it to the third fight, I think, three times. This being the third. Um, the first... And I've made it to the last fight, I think, once before this. Now, again, insanely lucky. None of the super... No, no one's attacking in the first slot, so Raditz gets the stun. So now, I take zero damage this turn. Um, because Vegeta's still stunned from last turn. So... Broly's getting a nice attack stat here. These, I wish these were tech orbs, man, but hey, whatever, right? So I'm trying to see what's the best way to drop the orbs because, of course, I need to always consider the next rotation. Next rotation's double Janemba. That is a lot of rainbow orbs to ask for. And I'm looking, I'm like, eh, that's not... I see a couple, but they don't seem to be linking well for me. Um, and we're able to get that stun there. I mean, the seal uh, for, for her. So we get the the stun here. Um, do we double? No, but 3.6 from Broly, right? His attack stat jumps once you start getting uh, support on the rotation, right? So we're able to just annihilate, right? Here's the guaranteed double super. The number always at a five million attack stat, um, and now a crit. There we go, and she gets the kill on him now. The stun lasted to the next turn. Again, luck. We ended up getting his full passive anyway, so we would have definitely survived no matter what. Um, but it was still nice. Uh, now, I don't... Trunks has a lot of health, so I have no idea. I don't think I'm able to kill him. I don't know. So I can't avoid the Dokkan attack. I tried to, but I can't. Um, it is what it is, right? Of course, so I would have preferred to somehow kill Trunks and go into the last fight with Dokkan attack. I've only had that once. Um, I got into the last fight with the Dokkan attack, immediately, like, triple super a fight over. <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. So, it, I didn't care. Just getting to the last fight with full health is good enough for me, right? And obviously, it works. Um, so, Double super attack from Janemba. He he puts up some decent numbers, man. Like it's really not that bad. Uh, for to have big bad bosses active, right? He links you know pretty well with uh, that slug there. So we're able to get uh, two million twice. So nice little four million attack stat from Janemba. Full health. We have a pretty decent opening rotation here. And I'm looking around and I'm like, that is a lot of attacks. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? So. Instincts, Broly has to go where the one attack is because he takes 100k at attack. So I can put Broly in that last slot. So it really sucks because look, um, no links. They're, they're, I, I get very lucky with the orbs dropping here. I'm able to get this full passive and I try my hardest. I try to take out Goten. I assume Goten has the lowest health. Um, I don't know if that's 100% for sure, but I assume it does. We are able to get a full passive, full damage reduction, and now that gives Raditz the super I needed. Uh, very close, but unable to get the 18 key super uh, from Broly, but whatever. Uh, definitely would have been nice, um, is what it is. Now, I, I am terrified to get those orbs, because I don't know how the orbs are going to drop, and I am very confident I cannot get the rainbow orbs I'm going to need next turn. Next turn is... By by far the worst turn I could possibly have. It's um 
Janemba, Toa, and Slug. Janemba is the only one that can tank. Slug takes 100k, Toa takes 100k. I think, okay, with uh, support, I think he would take a little bit less, so... Focus on the turn we're on, right? So we stun Goku because that's who's attacking actually a lot, uh, in, to include the last lot. So Broly's safe. Um, and then we're we're doing okay so far, right? We're we're no super attacks. This is all this is by the way the reason we win. Um they like almost never super me. Uh just complete pure RNG luck. Uh, of course I've been here before. I've gotten triple super turn one, turn and the fight's over. <laughs> um, I was praying Broly with triple super, but get Goten out of there. So Goku still stunned. It carries over to the next turn, and I'm feeling good. So now I look. Uh, Goten is the only person attacking in that second slot. So I throw that on him. We can take him out. Now Slug is only Slug is now not getting attacked. Now I. I'm fine, obviously, but now that I'm looking at this, I might have actually switched Slug and Toa. But see, the problem with throwing Slug off rotation is when I, I'm going to need a heal, uh, as always. And then once I toss him off rotation, it's, uh, you know, that's three turns that I have to wait for his uh, for him to come back on to give me that 30% heal. I want that heal ready on the dime. So I pray that we get that stun on Gohan, but... Of course, only 30%. Because that would save me... How many times is he attacking? Once? Twice. That's 200k. That's 200k. I save uh, for Toa. And now I saw the way those orbs just dropped, and my heart sank. Because I'm like, wow. So I'm most likely like getting out of this turn, sure. Um, his stun right here is very needed. Because that's two hundred. That's a lot of hell. We we don't get it. We don't get it. So I seal Goku for the next fight, and I'm like, no, I'm dead. Gohan doesn't super. For the life of me, I'll never know how or why. But now look at how low we are. So now it's like, cool. Can I make it to the next turn? Because then I can get that big heal from Slug and Metamorphosis. But I don't even know if I'm making it. I am extremely lucky at how many tech orbs that he uh, changed. So I do this because uh, that is going to be... I, I I do that because I'm thinking this is going to be the biggest heal. Um, I'm going to close the app out and, and restart it though. Because look, I can't get his, his passive at all. So I do that and I'm like, I'm dead. And then I look, I can't get the damage reduction for him. And I'm like, no, I'm not even going to bother playing the turn out. I'm dead. I'm 120% dead on that turn so i restart the app to take another gander at what i could possibly do because uh to not get demon king piccolo's damage reduction even with it i think i'm still dead by the way just from normal attacks like he still takes like 20k i'm pretty sure i'm dead no matter what uh if i play that turn out with his damage reduction um this is this is again just insane luck i am almost 99 percent sure gohan is attacking me in the first slot now, I I change. I think I didn't do this last time. I changed Raditz's attack to Goku. So at first I did Gohan, right? But I'm looking and I'm like, wait a minute, Goku is attacking in slot two and three. So I kind of have to stun Goku if I want to survive. Um, I still, I still think I'm dead. Actually, no matter what, because we're taking 20k from the normal. Yeah, I still would have died anyway, even if uh, Gohan does super. He doesn't, which is the only reason why we win. So, Janemba gets a big, nice, fat heal right here. No passive active, but I don't need it, and I realize that later on. And we're able to get the... I mean, we don't even need the damage reduction. We, I just want a super with him. Um, so, I'm like, cool. Uh, Gohan, please don't super me. I beg of you. Uh... And this is just a, a, a Hail Mary. This is a, a Hail Mary. Because if Gohan supers me, I don't know. It would have been really close, actually. I might have survived. He takes around 120k, so it, actually, I might have survived. Um, so now I'm trying to get them whittled down, and I'm like, fuck. Gohan has so much health. <laughs> oh my god, it's not looking good. Broly comes in. And I'm like, oh man, if I can just get him to attack, it's over. 
The attacks don't fall in a way that I want. Um, again, RNG strikes. I'm able to get uh, damage reduction, not the full passive, right? I'm missing one more orb. Three should have been what it did, whatever. So I'm missing one more orb, which means now I can get damage reduction, but I can't super attack and I can't support the entire rotation. Uh, Janemba takes like 50k with no passive active, so you at a minimum damage reduction has to occur. Uh, but here we go RNG is striking in the middle slot. Slug is only getting attacked by Goku. So we can go for the stun. And then we throw up this active skill. This is why, this is literally why Broly is in this fight. He does the damage. I've done, I've tried this without Broly because he does take way too much uh, damage, but he brings the heat. Gohan, still no super attack. Where are you? Well, he just didn't show up today. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that is, the, Gohan not supering is like the reason. That stun going off, another reason. Like we just get so insanely lucky 3.8 and i'm like cool crit and get gohan out of here because i am i am surprised that gohan hasn't supered he for all we know would have supered right there and oh well we'll never know uh he uh, he took too long so we're able to get him out of there we get uh, a decent attack right there we get the little attack and it's over and i am i am still ecstatic that is no item extreme text battle road complete. Um, very, very pumped. So, oh my god. The only stages that I have not complete yet, and this is just due to units, is uh, Super Saiyan 3. Because I don't really have the, uh, I don't have the Xeno, like Goku, Super Saiyan 3, and Vegeta. They would, they would help out dramatically, but I don't have them. Um... Of course, that probably could get done with a lot of RNG, and I don't know, maybe. Um, that, I need extreme fizz. If I... I can probably get that one done for sure. If I was able to get the freaking 50% support boo, dude, that stage is a joke. Uh, Ginyu Force. Ginyu Force is, like, the most unfun stage in the world. Um, you just have no thought. You're just like, cool... Same rotations every time, and you're just praying it works out in your favor. But you can't even, like, think about it. It's, like, cool. Same rotation every time. Um, is that it? Super Saiyan 3s. Ginyu Force. I think that is... I think that's all I'm missing. Hmm. So, I'm going to pull this up, actually, now. I guess I'll just, you know, briefly take a look. But I'll also show, um links for who i have because i don't i do not have max links for sure and then we'll end it because the video is definitely going on for a while i almost went back into janemba's banner because i wanted to rainbow him for this so okay we have the type defense and attack and then a level three um innocence i guess made it all the way but yeah big bad boss is at level six um you Big Bad Bosses, you maxed out would have been great, but yeah, lots of 7s and 8s. You're completely done. But we have these, uh, what is that? A level 3 crit and defense. Um, level 3 super attack boost and a level 3 defense. What was his? He's all additional. Yeah, and then the recovery boost, because he can heal a lot. Broly, yeah, two dupes Broly. We went just straight damage. He's not going to tank any better uh, with defensive stuff, so we just went straight damage. Um, did we see his links? Links, yeah, so we've got most 8s, 9s, 10s. Very close. Uh, Raditz, very, also very close. Oh, wow, very close, actually. One link left. And then we've got all defense, right? So, double level 5 defense for type advantage. Um, these actually help out a lot, I've noticed, in Super Battle Road. And then a level 5 defense, so all defense. And then for her, I don't even think I bothered with her. Yeah, like, I went all dodge, basically. Yeah, all dodge. Moderate links. Uh, but most of her links are really inactive anyway. Um, but yeah, that is this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, please sub. This fucking video deserves it. Uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.